Welcome to the King County Video Voters Guide, your chance to hear directly from the candidates on the November 2nd general election. In this edition, we've invited the candidates who will appear on the ballot for King County Executive and King County Council and the Seattle Port Commission to make a statement. The offices in this video are nonpartisan. Each of the statements is up to two minutes long and unedited. The speakers appear on your screen in the same order as they will on the ballot. This is a vote by mail election. Instead of going to a polling place, ballots will be sent to all registered voters. First up, the Office of King County Executive. The County Executive manages the delivery of such regional services as criminal justice, metro transit, and wastewater treatment. In 2020, the voters of King County amended the charter so that the sheriff became an appointed position. Beginning in 2022, the sheriff will be appointed by the executive and confirmed by the county council. The executive also directs the local services provided to those in the unincorporated areas outside of cities. This is a nonpartisan position and is elected for a four-year term. All voters in King County can vote for county executive. When COVID arrived here, the first place in the country impacted by this deadly virus, I took swift, decisive action. We led with science and reason and saved thousands of lives and reduced our infection rate to among the lowest in the nation. The New York Times reported that had the rest of America followed our lead, the nation could have avoided more than 300,000 deaths. As we emerge from the pandemic, I'm bringing that same clarity and resolve to the toughest challenges and uniting our region for an economic recovery where everyone can thrive. We're taking bold action on homelessness, moving thousands off the streets and into housing with services to restore lives. And through my Best Starts for Kids initiative, we've kept 10,000 children and families safely housed. This housing crisis made worse by the pandemic requires both compassion and the proven ability to drive real change. We're improving public safety and public trust by investing in gun violence prevention and aid to victims of domestic violence and other crimes and collaborating with communities to create real safety. I've asked community leaders to work with me as we appoint a new sheriff who is accountable to me, the council, and the people. We're helping kids stay in school, graduate, and avoid the criminal legal system, and I've succeeded in driving down the youth detention rate nearly tenfold. And I'm taking urgent action on climate leading the fight for regional light rail and converting Metro to an all-electric fleet. And there's more exciting progress to come. I'm grateful for the endorsements of Governors Inslee, Gregoire, and Locke, over 40 Democratic legislators, the MLK Labor Council, healthcare workers, firefighters, building trades, the Washington Conservation Voters, and the Alliance for Gun Responsibility. My commitment to public service was instilled in me by my parents, retired public school teachers. Today, Shirley and I are raising our daughter in the same West Seattle neighborhood where I grew up. Let's keep working together to help all King County families thrive. Thank you. After 12 years of current leadership failing to solve our biggest problems like homelessness, it's time for change. And as we recover from this pandemic, we need an executive who understands how hardworking families in King County have struggled to make ends meet, even before this crisis. I'm the son of refugees from White Center and worked as a janitor at my own high school. And despite great adversity, I built a successful career in the private sector, and now I represent my community in the state Senate. We can build a brighter future for every family in King County. We can build a community where everyone has a safe place to call home. Every senior can age in place with dignity, and every parent can provide for their kids. We can achieve all of this if we had an executive who will act with the urgency needed to actually solve problems. For years, the communities I grew up in haven't gotten the same investments to support working people that made my success possible. And as a result, residents of South King County got sick and died from COVID-19 at twice the rates of those in other parts of the county. Those deaths were preventable if the county had prioritized every community's safety. The pandemic wasn't the first crisis where our current leadership neglected working families who've been pushed out of their neighborhoods. The status quo has given us 12 years of unaffordable housing, longer commutes, an action on climate change, and worsening gun violence in our communities. We need bold solutions implemented with transparency and accountability. 
and I have the private and public sector experience to get things done. Let's get to work. King County Council. As the legislative branch of county government, the nine members of the Metropolitan King County Council set the policies, enact the laws, and adopt the budgets that guide the largest jurisdiction in Washington State. The Council's mission is to protect public health and safety, enhance quality of life, and ensure public trust. Council positions are nonpartisan, and Council members are elected to four-year terms. This year, five of the nine Council positions will appear on the general election ballot. Hi, I'm Sally Caverzan. I'm very new to politics, but I am not new to King County. I came to Seattle in 2005 to do direct service work with the unhoused. The 10-year plan to end homelessness had just been unveiled, and I wanted to be part of the solution. I come from privilege and trauma, along with an internalized notion of coping and healing through service work and by connecting to nature. I worked for years in nonprofit and government services, including long-term care, home visiting, social work. I have seen it all, folks. I know the daily hardships that our most marginalized and vulnerable residents and their families face. I understand the realities of housing and unemployment barriers. Like many of you, I see the direct correlation of our drug and mental health crisis, crime, and an overburdened system in our escalating social disorder. The creation of a King County Regional Treatment Facility is my highest priority. There is a lack of access to inpatient treatment beds. Our hospitals, our jails have become revolving doors. We need reintegration housing. There must be a realistic porch light at the end of the tunnel. With the climate crisis, our solutions must be more than rapid transit, expensive cars, and localized solar. We need systemic infrastructure towards underground cables to keep our tree canopy and to prevent wildfires, natural drainage projects, and rainwater collection approaches that will save our beloved Pacific Northwest salmon and orca populations. We need to build up a King County Conservation Corps. We can keep people in their homes. We can find stability for self and others through contributing to the public good. I'm Sally C. And now for something completely different. Hi, my name is Rod Dombowski, and it's a privilege and honor to represent you on the King County Council. I represent District 1, which is North Seattle, and the cities of Shoreline, Lake Forest Park, Kenmore, Bothell, Woodenville, and North Kirkland. I chair the Mobility Environment Committee and serve as vice chair of the Budget Committee. My time on the council, I've prioritized work in the environmental space, uh, helping secure new parklands at Bothell, the Wayne Golf Course, preventing its development. Uh, a new waterfront park in Lake Forest Park, and expanding Big Fin Hill Park in Kirkland. I've also made a priority to invest in our urban streams uh, from Lion Creek to McAleer Creek, Bear Creek, Denny Creek. We've got to restore their health. Housing and human services have been a major piece of the work I've done. I led the effort to form the Behavioral Health Institute at Harborview to have the best behavioral health program in the country. Uh, the pandemic. We're coming out of that. I'm very proud of King County's response. We've led the nation in reducing infections, deaths, the spread, and reopening our economy. Going forward, there's lots of work to do, but a couple priorities. First, the environment and climate change. We have the best climate change plan from a local government in the country. We've got to implement it and speed it up. I've proposed a climate bond to make investments in greening our transit fleet, preserving the last 60,000 acres of open space in King County, and decarbonizing our built environment. We can't wait any longer. Second, homelessness. I'm very proud of our Health Through Housing Initiative where we're acquiring 1,600 units. We gotta quadruple down on that and move faster and more effectively. I'm very proud of the endorsements I've received for reelection, the Washington Conservation Voters, King County Democrats, all the mayors in my district outside of Seattle, the Alliance for Gun Responsibility, the Labor Council, and many others. My time on the council, I've never missed a vote, not in committee and not at full council. I'd like to continue working for you and I ask for your support.
Hi, my name is Kathy Lambert, and I am the King County Council Member for District 3, King County's largest district with rural, urban, and suburban areas, and I'm running for re-election. We are seeing many changes in our communities happen so fast as we try to come out of this pandemic. The east side is at a crossroads. Will we cave in to partisan politics? With such a diverse group of voters in this district, it's important that we continue to elect experienced and nonpartisan candidates to this seat. I am endorsed from both sides of the aisle. We need leaders who will treat everyone fairly and help us navigate the many financial, social, and transportation issues we face. Among my varied endorsements are the Seattle Times, the Amalgamated Transit Union, the Eastside Business Alliance, the King County Police Officers Guild, and many more. This position is about bringing local and regional services to our constituents. As the daughter of a law enforcement officer, I understand how important it is to have safety in our community, and I'm an advocate for increasing the budget of our Sheriff's Department so that we can continue to provide needed coverage and services. It is so important that we not cut these budgets, especially with such rapid population growth in our district. Services, response times, and overall safety would be greatly affected. To help deal with some of these criminal justice issues, I brought the first community court. This program provides services to those in need instead of jail time. After the pilot's initial success, this became a county-wide program that has been able to help so many more people. For transportation, I have supported metro budgets, worked on more local options, and expanded the Snoqualmie Valley Transit as part of our metro system. I believe it is a privilege to serve, and now as your independent leader on the council, there is still much more work to be done, and I hope to continue being the voice of our diverse community. I humbly ask for your support and your vote on the journey forward. Thank you. Hi, I'm Sarah Perry. I'm a small business owner, nonprofit executive, coalition builder, and candidate to be your voice on county council representing District 3. After three decades living, working, and volunteering in Issaquah, Sammamish, Redmond, Woodenville, and the Snoqualmie Valley, I'm proud of my record of collaboration and results, building affordable housing, protecting access to higher education, and running my own small business, assisting organizations and innovators in making their dreams a reality. I'm running for county council because we need a champion for our communities who will not only listen, but will bring the results that we need and are depending on at this critical time. After 20 years of the same representation, it's time for a leader with a forward-thinking vision, a deep understanding of the challenges facing our region, and who will get the job done. What we need will not be addressed by out-of-touch career politicians. With your vote, I'll represent our shared values and priorities. I'll tackle climate change and protect our open spaces, forests, water, and farmland. I'll build realistic transit alternatives and connections to meet the needs of our working families. I'll remove barriers for recovering small businesses, assist families in need of childcare, fight for safe communities for all, and help our workers regain a foothold in a changing economy. I'm grateful to have earned the endorsements of Congress members Susan Del Bene and Kim Schreier, Attorney General Bob Ferguson, County Executive Dow Constantine, State Senator Monka Dingra, former candidate Joe Cohen, our local firefighters, teachers, and healthcare workers, MLK Labor, the Sierra Club, Planned Parenthood votes, and dozens of elected and community leaders. I'm Sarah Perry, running for King County Council District 3, and I would be honored to earn your support so that together we can ensure that all of our families thrive now and into the future. Elect SarahPerry.org. Thank you. Hi, my name is Dr. Shukri Olo, and I'm running for King County Council District 5. Our diverse South King County communities deserve authentic representation. As an immigrant, a former refugee, and a product of Kent Public Housing, I am of this community. I have lived the challenges that so many members of our community face and have felt the beauty of this community that supported my family when we needed it most. And for 15 years, I have served our South King County community, connecting families to life-changing resources like public housing, affordable child care, education, and health care. And our neighbors have spoken. It's time for new leadership with lived experience. And together, we will create an environment where every corner of our district can thrive. And our community created priorities reflect this and include building affordable housing as a human right and increasing tenant protections to prevent housing instability and displacement, 
bending the legal system toward justice by investing in alternatives to incarceration through a public health response to social safety, investing in public health and human services to provide mental health and trauma-informed care to our communities reeling from the COVID-19 crisis and supporting small businesses overlooked by federal and local pandemic assistance to fully recover from the economic downturn. And if elected, it will not just be my voice on the King County Council, it will be yours. It will be the voices of all residents looking to be heard and valued by our democracy. I am proud to be endorsed by organizations such as King County Democrats, Washington Housing Alliance Action Fund, SCIU 775, 925, and 1199 Northwest, and One America Votes, as well as a number of elected officials, including State Representatives Deborah Intiman and David Hackney. I would be honored to have your vote and your voice by November 2nd. Hi, my name is Dave Upthegrove, and I'm running for re-election to the King County Council in District 5, which includes all or parts of the cities of Kent, Renton, SeaTac, Des Moines, Burien, Normandy Park, and Tukwila. I am honored to be endorsed by more than 100 leaders from communities of color in South King County, and I work hard to treat everyone in our community with respect. You know, the first COVID death in the nation was right here in King County, and our county public health department is the front line of defense. I'm proud that by following the science and supporting our public health professionals, we have the lowest COVID rate of any major urban county in the continental United States. As we emerge from this pandemic, however, our region faces serious challenges. We need to get homeless individuals off the street and into housing with services. We need to prioritize public safety and our first responders while improving accountability, transparency, and justice for all. We all deserve to feel safe in our community. And we need to support local small businesses to help boost our economy and create jobs and economic opportunity for all. The solutions to homelessness, public safety, and our economy aren't going to come from Seattle. They will come from those of us here in South King County working together to solve problems. These are serious times, and I will use my experience and proven leadership to fight for our community and deliver results. Nobody will work harder for South King County. I'm proud to be endorsed by the King County Democrats, King County Labor Council, Sierra Club, teachers, nurses, and firefighters, Attorney General Bob Ferguson, Congressman Adam Smith, King County Executive Dow Constantine, and many other trusted local leaders. My name is Dave Upthegrove, and I would be honored to earn your vote. Hello, my name is Dominique Torgerson and I am running for King County Council for District 7 because we need change. I know all too well the issues that we face in our rural unincorporated areas of King County. With completely unreasonable and overburdensome permitting and zoning codes, it is otherwise a miracle if someone can even make it through the permitting process at all, much less without great financial and mental difficulty. It took our business two and a half years to make it through what should have been an over-the-counter permit. King County does little to nothing to support its rural or unincorporated businesses, which is completely evident by the fact that we have the absolute lowest percentage of sales that comes from the unincorporated areas out of any county in this entire state, at a minimal 3.2%, and that is based on 2016 numbers. King County basically has two principal sources of tax revenue, property tax and sales tax. Property taxes levied by counties can only increase by 1% every year. With that limitation, we have to be able to supplement our revenue by getting sales tax. But the only way to create this foundation of stable sales tax revenue is to support unincorporated businesses. With such limited sales tax coming back from the general fund, we have absolutely no way to continue to support the rural areas, much less get funding for anything else. My second issue that I want to address is our effect on the environment. We have such an inefficient recycling program, where most of what we recycle still ends up in the landfills. With the technology that is available, there is absolutely no reason we should even have landfills anymore. And that is something I want to change. Lastly, we need to get back to listening to the people. As elected officials, it is our duty to be servants to the people. 
the words career and politician should never go hand in hand. But unfortunately, it is now all too common, continually reinforced by greed and need to excessively control. If I am elected, I will push for term limits that will effectively remove the incentive for someone to try and make an elected position a career. I'm Reagan Dunn, and it's been an honor to serve you as your voice on the King County Council. I'm troubled by the dramatic increase in crime and homelessness in this county, and I believe we can do better. The murder rate is up by a staggering 86% over the last two years, and our crime rate is the highest it's been in 30 years. I am one of the few voices on the council fighting to give law enforcement the tools they need to do their jobs. I believe that we can fully fund our criminal justice system, and at the same time, we can strive for increased accountability within that system. I'm the only member of the King County Council with real crime fighting experience, having spent many years working for the Department of Justice. I was appointed by the President of the United States and I served as a federal prosecutor with top secret clearance. In Seattle, I worked in the Terrorism and Violent Crime Unit of the U.S. Attorney's Office. I also led the Justice Department's national initiative to fight gun violence. As you may know, Voters recently placed oversight of the county sheriff's office in the hands of the King County Council. Our county needs at least one council member who understands the need to keep our neighborhoods safe. I'm proud to have earned the endorsement of all eight nonpartisan mayors in this district, plus firefighters and police. And I have also been honored as Washington State's outstanding local elected official of the year. County government faces significant challenges, and I will work in a bipartisan manner to fight crime, reduce homelessness, protect the environment, recover from the pandemic, keep your taxes low, and continue to help those who suffer from drug and alcohol addiction. I'm Reagan Dunn. I work for you, and I appreciate your vote. Hi neighbors, my name is Kim Kanvan. I'm running to represent you, our region's working families, veterans, seniors, and those who don't have a seat at the table on the King County Council. As a refugee from Vietnam, my family came here seeking a better future. Working multiple jobs and the first in my family to graduate college, I value hard work, the importance of opportunity, and the strength of community. Our district deserves leadership committed to the same principles. Unfortunately, the 16-year incumbent was the sole vote against critical funding for housing, stepped down from the regional authority addressing homelessness, and failed to provide leadership necessary to prevent a dangerous asphalt plant sited along the Cedar River. Our district deserves representation in touch with local priorities and willing to embrace opportunities for regional progress. I'm the only candidate for this position with a proven track record as an elected official and small business owner. I've expanded access to apprenticeships and career pathways on the Renton Technical College Foundation Board, advocated for seniors and veterans through Sound City Seniors Aging and Disability Council, with your vote, I'll build on my record of leadership on the Renton City Council to coordinate regional action on homelessness and affordable housing, make overdue transit and transportation improvements, ensure fiscal responsibility, stand up for struggling local businesses, and step up safeguards protecting our climate and quality of life. As we rebuild trust in our Sheriff's Office, I will demand needed public safety improvements, support for victims, and hire officers who reflect our communities as I have in Renton. Together, we can recover, grow, and move our region forward. I'm grateful for the endorsements of regional organizations and leaders like Washington Conservation Voters, SEIU 1199 Northwest Healthcare Workers, Executive Constantine, and Treasurer Pelichotti, and many more. So I ask for your vote. Thank you. Port of Seattle. The Port of Seattle Commission is a countywide municipal corporation. The five port commissioners oversee the Seattle-Tacoma International Airport, the Seattle Seaport, Fisherman's Terminal, four recreational marinas, and two cruise terminals. Commissioners also appoint and evaluate the port's chief executive officer, approve the annual port budget, establish financial policies, and approve labor agreements. This year, Port Commission positions one, three, and four will appear on the November general election ballot. 
All voters in King County are eligible to vote in this race. Hello, King County voters. My name is Norman Sigler. Thank you for taking the time to learn about me and my reasons for wanting to be your next Port of Seattle Commissioner in position number one. I plan to lead with bold actions such as moving to carbon neutrality by 2030, designating a portion of the operating budget to eliminate port pollution, and designating a percentage of the port's profit to mitigate environmental injustices in communities impacted by port operations. I moved here in 2003 to be the manager of finance and contracts for the then $55 million engine budget at Alaska Airlines. This was my third time working for an airline after getting my MBA in finance and accounting from the University of Michigan. My aviation experience also includes planning new airline routes and building airline partnerships. I loved working in the airline industry because of the exposure to so many different people and places and because the engineering of flying is magical. SeaTac International Airport is a magical place and represents about 75% of all Port of Seattle operations. That also includes a state-of-the-art regional container port alliance, cruise ship terminals, the marina that houses the Alaskan fishing fleet, and a park. The port's current operating budget is $670 million. That includes $76 million a year in support from your property taxes. ClearConsulting.biz, my executive search firm, helps Puget Sound social profits diversify their leadership teams. My past work as a strategy consultant for Blue Cross Blue Shield Association and as an environmental scientist assessing commercial properties for environmental hazards mean I will be the only port commissioner to bring institutional knowledge on day one from the executive recruiting, aviation, healthcare, and environmental sectors. 110 years ago, residents of this county created the Port of Seattle to build the foundation of the economy we enjoy today. I humbly ask for your vote to help lay the foundation for the port's next 110 years. Thank you. As your port commissioner, it's my honor to create living wage careers, support workers and small businesses, and advance the port's actions to defeat climate change. I'm running for re-election to build a port aligned with our community's forward-thinking priorities and values. As our community bounces back from COVID, the port must serve as an engine for job creation. That's why I've fought to keep projects on schedule despite the pandemic, driving job growth and investing in infrastructure that supports local businesses. I'm pushing for critical projects to ensure our airport and seaport remain world-class. As a small business owner and economic development leader, I know the importance of new career and entrepreneurial pathways. We need apprenticeships and workforce training, like Maritime High School, which we helped develop, to ensure a thriving local economy. Coupled with equity-driven programs for underrepresented communities, we're ensuring everyone has the opportunity to thrive and prosper. I first ran for this office to accelerate our actions to address climate change. I'm proud to have led efforts to make our port the nation's most environmentally sustainable. We'll continue our truly innovative approach in sustainable aviation fuels and the decarbonization of the Seattle Central waterfront, and go even further to meet the scale of the climate crisis. I'm committed to working with others to achieve real results, and I'm proud my collaborative approach has been endorsed by King County Democrats, the Sierra Club, MLK labor, firefighters, nurses, and essential workers, along with members of Congress, legislators, and local elected officials across the county. I believe the port can be instrumental in making our region a global hub for the green economy, which will bring new jobs and businesses and a healthier environment. With your vote, I can and will continue this important work. Thank you. Hi, I'm Stephanie Bowman, your Port of Seattle Commissioner. I'm excited to be running for re-election because the port is the region's economic backbone and we need steady, experienced leadership at the helm of our region's most important agency. I'd like to tell you a few things I've done and how I'm building on these accomplishments in the next four years. I have the sole endorsement of the King County Building Trades Union because in 2020, I helped save thousands of workers from losing their jobs by continuing with port construction projects when other agencies shut these jobs down. Building on this, I have a plan to create 5,000 new equitable green jobs through port investments in carbon reduction, energy efficiency, and habitat restoration. 
We can restore the Duwamish, Seattle's only river, by cleaning up stormwater and clean up our air by moving towards zero emission trucks on port terminals and getting sustainable aviation fuels in airplanes. I have the endorsement of the Northwest Women's Political Caucus and Governor Gary Locke for my commitment to helping women and people of color. I led the effort to create a COVID vaccination clinic at the airport for our workers, which has already helped more than 5,000 workers of color be safe from the pandemic. I also led the effort to triple the number of women and minority firms at contract with the port. Moving forward, I'll continue my focus on helping those furthest from opportunity, building on my work to create more than 600 jobs for youth from underserved communities. You probably don't think about the port when you think about the homelessness crisis. However, two years ago, I worked with community leaders to create the first tiny house village ever on port property, helping those living unsheltered on our streets to have a safe, stable place to go. Moving forward, I'm already working on expanding this site. I'm thrilled to be endorsed by dozens of community and elected leaders like Governor Gregoire, Dow Constantine, Seattle firefighters, and our maritime unions. I'd be proud to have your vote. Thank you. Hi, my name is Hamdi Mohammed, and I'm running to be your next Port of Seattle Commissioner. As we recover from COVID-19, we must rethink our port's policies and promote transparency, accountability, and public participation. My father was a trucker, my mother was a SeaTac airport worker, and my husband was an airline employee. I know firsthand how important it is that working families are protected. At the King County Executive Office, I advise on the county's $12 billion budget and manage initiatives that invest millions into our small businesses, community organizations, and COVID-19 response. I have served on multiple boards and as the regional organizing director for President Biden's campaign. I have the skills, relationships, and expertise in economic development to achieve real results for communities in and around the port. My priorities include re-entry programs for COVID-19 impacted workers, establishing the first small business recovery task force, streamlining our operations at our waterfront, and improving freight mobility while creating thousands of jobs. The Port of Seattle's largest revenue stream is SeaTac Airport, located in the heart of South King County. When elected, I will become the first ever commissioner living in South King County. I am prepared to be a strong voice for cleaner aviation fuels, sound installation programs, and tackling ultra-fine particle pollutions with local leaders. I am the only candidate endorsed by all 19 King County Democratic Party organizations and MLK Labor. I'm endorsed by Congresswoman Jaya Paul, Congressman Smith, King County Executive Constantine, Attorney General Bob Ferguson, Commissioner of Public Lands, Hillary Franz, 300 organizations, business leaders, and more. Folks are ready for a regional leader that will make the port's numerous operations more accessible and transparent. I hope to earn your vote. Hello, I'm Port Commissioner Peter Steinbrook, and I'm running for re-election to the Seattle Port Commission. The port's core mission is to promote economic opportunity, quality jobs, and environmental sustainability. As Port Commissioner, I've worked hard to create thousands of family wage, dock worker, and construction jobs. And with less than 5% property tax support, we're self-funding billions in public works projects. In 2019, I created a $10 million South King County Community Impact Fund to develop equity-based partnerships and provide economic resources to historically underserved near-airport communities. During these challenging times, I bring strong, experienced leadership to the port that delivers. Together, we're building the nation's most progressive port through equitable middle-income jobs leading on climate protection, environmental sustainability, and ending systemic racism. I'm committed to the port's core mission while ensuring open, accountable government. Together, we're moving the port of the future forward. I'm proud to be endorsed by great local leaders such as Ron Sims, Gail Tarleton, Earth Day founder Dennis Hayes, Bellevue Mayor Lynn Robinson, Auburn Mayor Nancy Backus, Des Moines Mayor Matt Pina, along with the East Side Business Alliance, Metropolitan Democratic Club, King County Building Trades,
Plumbers and Pipe Fitters Local 32, the Port of Seattle Firefighters, and many more. You can learn more about my campaign at www.peterforport.org. Thank you, and I'd be so honored to have your vote. My name is Toshiko Hasegawa, and I'm running for the Seattle Port Commission, position number four. As a lifelong resident of the Beacon Hill neighborhood, I've seen our port's impact on communities. As director of a state agency, I've witnessed how, once again, when crises struck, working families were hit hardest. The disparities have deepened, and the port is still one of the top polluters of carbon emissions in our state. It's fallen short of answering to the challenges of our time. I'm running to ensure that the rising tide of our recovery lifts all ships. Our port is a connector, the gateway to the world and economic heartbeat of our region. It's uniquely positioned to bring together stakeholders in industry, business, labor, and community to build our economy back better but we need new leadership committed to getting it done. As commissioner, I'll prioritize sustainably growing our industries while modernizing with green infrastructure. Projects like electric shore power, high-speed rail, offshore wind and solar panels can promote international trade and a flowing supply chain, all while reducing pollution and traffic congestion. These projects will create family wage jobs for workers and contracts for businesses so people get the economic stability that they deserve. The fierce urgency of this moment requires new leadership with a bold vision and unwavering commitment to our goals. I am the unifying Democrat in this race that people trust to get the job done. That's why I'm endorsed by the Washington Conservation Voters and the Sierra Club, MLK Labor Council, iron workers, carpenters, business leaders, every legislative Democratic organization in King County, and over 50 elected officials, including Governor Jay Inslee, Lieutenant Governor Denny Heck, Congressman Adam Smith, and Congresswoman Jaya Paul. Let's build a port that works for everyone. My name is Toshiko Hasegawa, and I hope to earn your vote. You've just seen all the video statements recorded by candidates for King County Executive and County Council, along with candidates for Port of Seattle Commissioner. This program is a collaboration of the Seattle Ethics and Elections Commission, the Seattle Channel, and King County TV. Ballots will be sent to all registered voters. Look for your ballot in the mail after October 13th and vote and return it by Tuesday, November 2nd. Ballots can be returned via U.S. mail or at one of King County's secured ballot drop boxes. Ballots must be postmarked by November 2nd. To learn about accessible voting options, go to kingcounty.gov slash elections. You can track the progress of your ballot online and find the location of drop boxes by visiting King County Elections at kingcounty.gov slash elections. Thanks for joining us. We'd like to hear from you about the Video Voter's Guide. To comment on this guide, please call 206-684-8500 or email ethicsandelections at seattle.gov.